What's going on everybody? Zenin here from Macar Guys Garage coming at you with another daily vlog. Uh, the question is, is what got me interested into making custom car parts? Uh, good question. It's, 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 it could be a loaded question because that's just the type of person that I am. Uh, I don't want to relate it so much to how my business got started. Uh, I don't know if that's how the question was supposed to come across. But the reason why now, let's let, let's talk about now, not you know two years ago now. The reason why now I want to expand into this more custom entity of the business is because I genuinely feel that people should be able to get something close to the way they vision it, right? The way they envision it in their mind. Like if someone wants a specific style splitter but there's only three available on the market, I believe that there should be someone out there that you could go to to get what you want created. And, and that's the big thing about my company. And this started with shift knobs as well, and I don't wanna veer off course, but I wanted to turn around and make you your shift knob the best possible way with the machines that I have but to also to the way that you want it to them to be made and created. So like grooves and stuff in my shift knobs or knurling or you know making it longer or shorter or whatever have you. I wanted, that's the thing with the custom. That's why I wanna get into this custom stuff and this custom entity because I have access to a, a, a lot of resources and if you wanna make one, two, three changes to a current splitter that I have, I believe that you should be able to make those changes and get what you want. Um, you could pop a hood in someone's car, park next to someone else, and they have the exact same thing on their car. There's nothing wrong with that. There isn't. I'm not saying that there is, but what I'm saying is, is if that you were that other person going, you know, I really wish they would make an engine cover like this or an alt cover like that, or I wish that I could, you know, get this piece in a different color or that piece in a different color. That's what I want to start turning around and bringing to my business. That's what I want to turn around and start offering people. And I do offer it in a certain degree, but I want to do more, right? I want people to be able to, you know, I could, I could be a household name where I'm not a huge company, but I'm the guy that you could come to and get that one-off piece where, I'm not making a super large amount of money, but I'm making enough money to turn around and put, you know, dinner on the table. And and that's really why I got into all this was because when I started, the TC market didn't really have a m much stuff, and I just wanted to be able to offer the TC market products. And that has obviously grown to what it is now, and now I'm offering products for multiple multiple cars and it's it, and it's and it's only going to grow so i mean at the end of the day it's to help everybody out it's to help you out it's to help him out her out whoever and that's why i i got into the custom car parts because i genuinely i just i just want to help people out and i want to be able to bring that access to people so that they're not going to someone and someone's saying you know that's six hundred dollars and they come to me and i go yeah i could do it for three um, that's just that's why I want to get into this and obviously some of my prices might be more than other places It's just the way that it works out, but customizability If that's even a word uh, That's that's where I want to strive and that's where I want to be You know, that's uh, I, I want to be known for that aspect of my business. So hopefully that answers the question again too long on this video i'm gonna have to cut some stuff out in the future make them a little bit less but yeah that's all i got for you until next time sorry for the shaky video later